Okay, some Cyclone Basics. Um, just load in the database. You can do that by Databases, Add, and then Browse to your file, I think. And then it'll be loaded. After that, you can go ahead and left click, then right click, and go to Open Two Space. Now, if your Two Space comes in and it's colored, has unusual colors to it, I think it may be because Global Color Map is on. So if it looks like this when you first open it, you can go ahead and just turn off Global Color Map and it should be fine. Alternatively, you can simply just shut off the points, turn on the image. And this just shows you a nice detail like we talked about before of the imagery. So you can find out what the valve looked like. And this would be a left mouse rotate, right mouse sorry, both mouse buttons to zoom. So this would be the two space here. And then you can open up the model space folder and if uh, to get a nice fresh model space just highlight with left click. Right click and go to create model space. Creates a new one. New model space. Double left click. Say create and open with a left click. I'm going to drag this open to the side here. And um, now you can stay in panoramic mode here. So before you start left rotating, just hit panoramic mode and you get that eye coming up. And this will allow you to rotate in the same fashion as the um, the same fashion as the uh, two space. So you can um, also change your rendering here under point cloud rendering. So you can see the very similar rendering as the uh, true space. So let's see here. Rotate around. I think we we'll rotate here. So we have the same valve setup as we have in the image area. Now you're going to want to go to here though to make sure you can get back to the this point view is more accurate. And then you can just turn off panoramic mode and use your seek tool, which is S. And then click on the item you want to inspect. Both mouse buttons move. Rotate around as you can see here. Now if you wanted to make um, in this area more clear you can simply use your rectangular fence mode. You can draw a fence around the area with a left drag. Right. Then you can go edit, fence, delete outside. And this will delete the fence out, uh, delete the points outside the fence. Go back into rotate mode and you can get a better view here. Also, you can go in your perspective, your viewpoint. You can go to orthographic viewpoint here. This will allow you to, to, to view it straight up and down like that. Now, when you're taking measurements, it's important to make sure to know where you're taking the measurement. So it takes two measurements. So you can click here on the point cloud, for an example, and then shift select the bottom right there. Go back and you can see where you're going to be measuring to. Now when you take your measurement, right, there's a slope measurement. So you can go tools measure save, tools measure edit, and then you can expand this box, right click and customize, and add in uh, delta horizontal, delta vertical, like that. Right, and this will, this will, so we have your slope, dis your slope value is this, but your delta z, which is, you know, the vertical here, 
is 0.535. So that's nice when you're just pulling two measurements and you want your just the vertical measurement. Okay. Um, you can also do things like select the bottom here and go region grow patch and this is what it does, it does the best fit planar patch to the points say yes to that and what it does is it creates a patch so then when you measure point here, and you can measure point anywhere really on the patch. You go tools, measure, distance, point to unbounded surface, and it's going to give you a measurement straight down. 538, right? Okay. Um, of course you can always undo back to where the whole cloud is there. Viewpoint perspective. Okay. 